Hey Lightweights, and welcome back to some more Mass Effect 3. I'm on Victus, now arriving at the Sidium Embassy. Oh, 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 okay. Ha! <laughs> Glad I went here. Zamandis? Or should I say, regards the works of the Enkindlers in despair? It seems this one has been apprehended, but confinement is irrelevant. The work of the Enkindlers cannot be stopped. Why are you trying to help the Reapers? We obtained information regarding the Enkindlers from classified sources. The Enkindlers? You mean the Protheans? Yes. As you are aware, Commander Shepard, the Protheans eventually became the Collectors. And the Collectors serve the Reapers. Oh, you've got to be kidding me! Therefore, as a faithful servant of the Enkindlers, we too must serve the Reapers. You big stupid jellyfish! <laughs> you know, I support religious freedom for all species, but that's just crazy. Your skepticism does not matter. When the Enkindlers uplift us as their chosen sapients, the galaxy will bear witness. You're insane, and we can't allow you to endanger your planet. We are taking you into custody. Your belief in your victory is mistaken. Our planetary defense network is largely automated. It can be disabled with a single virus. Which I have just uploaded. Damn it. Wait. A virus would be detected unless sent on low-priority channels, which have a time lag. I may be able to block the upload. You I was delayed. wondering why that guy looked Help so us. sketchy. I'll this. <laughs> Got it. Uploads disabled. Looks like we're in the... Wait. He's got some kind of failsafe. Get down! She was here the entire time. She was an old friend. I intended to arrest her. She helped me take down the Collectors, and she just gave her life to save the Hanar homeworld. Point taken. It was an honor to work with you, Shepard. When the time comes, I'll be there to return the favor. With a few friends. You can come out now. How do you know? I was like, that was the most anticlimactic Lucky death guess. ever! There's no way you're recruiting me to fight in a galactic war. The Crucible Project needs technical experts. I'm not a scientist. No, but you're the best thief I'm in a the doctor. galaxy. I'm a doctor! And you can hack unfamiliar technology better than anyone. Sorry. They could Sorry, use doctor. your help. And think of it. All that expensive tech just lying around. It's not like they're going to check your pockets at the end of the project. You say the nicest things. All right. I'm in. And Shep, nice working with you again. I was about to be so pissed. I was about to be so pissed. I'm like, I can't even be sad because I'm so angry because what the fuck was that anticlimactic death that I didn't even know that she really died? I was so mad! <laughs> so I'm glad that was just a fake out. Anyways, oi. Commander Shepard. I know this isn't who I was trying to find, but... General Araka. I need to talk to him anyways. I think we met in Korra's den. You were pretty miserable, if I recall. Yes. Neck deep in drink just before I retired. I'm clean now. Reinstated. I hear you're taking on the Blue Suns. I need to do my part for the Citadel, Commander. The Blue Suns are raiding CSEC weapons shipments. I'm putting a stop to that. Those mercs are seriously jeopardizing the Citadel's ability to defend itself if the war comes here. When the war comes here. There are other ways to secure weapons, General. You don't think I've tried? There's a black market dealer on Citadel right now, but he won't sell his top-line arms. The Reapers are destroying everything in their path, and I can't stop them. 
but I can stop the blue suns. I love his coloring. I like how it's like the, the black and the white, but then it has little flecks of purple. That's my favorite yet. Let me see what I can do for you. I'd appreciate your help, and I'll have a plan of action ready if things fall through. Okay. How do I get to... Oh, I bet I have to go down and around this way. What's happening here? Look, Commander, I don't want any trouble. I'm authorized to sell here, and all my arms are legal, see? Oh. <laughs> These are lightweight weapons. Where's your top-end inventory? Shit, you slumming for C-Sec too? I already got harassed by the old Turian with a bad attitude. Yeah, I got much better stuff, but it's off the market. Galaxy's going belly up. Credit won't mean anything once the Reapers rip through. So what exactly are you saying? Whatever happens, I figure there'll be survivors, but it'll be chaos. I'm betting things will run on a barter system. So I'm getting a jump. My best stock only trades for hard goods and artifacts with real value. So what gets me access to your top shelf? Heh, <laughs> Turian just waved credits in my face and then spat on it. Nice to see you have flexibility. If you find any rare pieces when you're out saving the galaxy, bring them back. Then I'm happy to share my top stock with C-Sec, no problem. Outside of that, I gotta stick to my guns. What if I just shoot him? Can I do that? <laughs> Problem solved. <laughs> I've connected with Jonas Sedaris and her cell, Commander. You can speak with her via that console. Oh, Sedaris. Thanks. She. We'll need some privacy. My bad. Of course. When you're done, you can also contact Commander Bailey from that terminal. I want to talk with you before I secure your release. Bullshit. You have no choice. And when I get out, heads will roll. <laughs> oh, yes. You've killed a lot of my people. Don't think I've forgotten that. It'd be smart to bury the threats, Sidaris. I'll toss them into the caskets with my victims. I love holding all the cards. Even in here, you must deal with me. I have all the power. Is that right? <laughs> yes. Sane, my second in command, is a weak-willed toady. If he had balls, he'd leave me to rot and take control himself. But he won't defy me. He knows better. Now get me out of here, Shepard. Tell Bailey to release me. I am not releasing her. Bailey, I've seen Sedaris. So she's crazy, right? It would be ridiculous to let her out. She's a menace. Let me try to make this problem go away. Sounds good. I'll hold the line until I hear from you. I'm not <laughs> I'm not letting her out. What the fuck? There's no way. Okay, so I need to talk to her second in command. I'm willing to bet you look worse than I do. Yeah. Did you hear about the chemical fire and the kids from level 24 that they brought in last night? Yeah, I was there when they brought them in. Shit. I am so sorry. I shouldn't have brought that up. Look, if you need anything... I don't want to talk about it. Don't they make guns? Everything? Ooh, Elgon. Pleasure to meet you. The Hanar homeworld, Kaje, has reiterated its support for Council forces and has offered extensive medical and technical support. Besides that one Hanar, who wanted us to all be dead. Quick, hands behind your back. You'll be here any minute. What the hell are you talking about? Crete, Blood Pack's leader. Arya brings him the great commander Shepard. Crete pledges the gang to her. We're just luring him into the open so we can take him out. Not the best start to our friendship, Narl. He's coming. Put your hands behind your back and uh, 
trying to look like I beat you up or something. This better be on the up and up. Quiet. I have to look even Don't miss more these guys. powerful than Crick thought. Her instructions on boarding Citadel undetected were one thing. Now this. <sighs> Commander Shepard wants you to know your head will be hood ornament on my personal shuttle. Keep your distance, Crete. So, do you agree to Arya's terms? <sighs> Most definitely. Arya can use blood pack as she sees fit. Wasn't talking to you, Crete. Quill? What? You have my word. Now open fire! <laughs> what the fuck? Not him. Quill's next in line to take over. Arya's deal is with him. Yes. Yes. I'm Arya's mole, Shepard. You've scratched my back. Now I'll scratch yours. Word of advice. Don't double-cross Arya. I may be ambitious, but I'm not crazy. <laughs> uh-huh. We'll Good see work, about Merle. that. Thanks for the gun. Anytime, Shepard. Grill and I will let Arya know the light is green. Oh my god, did we actually finish part of it? I was on my boat when, boom, the sky went black, dust and ash. A giant metal wall rushed down. I fell into the river. Do humans ever stop talking? <laughs> when I climbed out, really? I was screaming. The metal wall started to move and I realized it was a leg. Only one of the Reaper's legs. What about the food we were promised? It's Please be who I'm looking for. Men, get ready for trouble. Not here for that, Zane. Just want to talk about Jonas Sedaris' release. Yes! Oh. Thank God! <laughs> that, right? My idea, you know. Arya came to me looking to gain Eclipse support. I'm leveraging it to bust the boss out. Saying you should run Eclipse. Huh? You can do it. I didn't think Leave about Sedaris that. Leave locked up and make the deal with Arya yourself. Hmm. Arya would be a step up. And you think she'd let me run things? I don't see why not. Right. Right. Then that's the plan. Keep Sedaris in jail. I'll call Arya right away. Yes! Good man. That was so easy! <laughs> Finally! <laughs> The diplomatic ships of the Salarians, Turians, and Krogan float far away from one another, out of weapon range. Messages sent by each faction indicate that they would welcome the Normandy as a neutral meeting ground for their diplomats. The fact that they have not agreed on a ship to serve as a neutral meeting point before now does not bode well for negotiations. Commander, the Salarian Dalatras and Krogan clan chief are ready to come aboard. Have them brought to the conference room. I'm nervous! What am I fucking up? hope this doesn't start another war. The Krogan is in no position to make demands. The Krogan has a name. Erdnot Rex. And I'm not just some junkyard veteran. You understand you're in trouble. I've got my own problems. Reaper scouts have arrived on Tuchunka. So why should I care if a few Turians go extinct? Trying to draw out negotiations will get you nowhere, Rex. I have no time for it. Just tell us what you want. I'll tell you what I need. A cure for the genophage. Oh, shit! <laughs> Absolutely not. The genophage is non-negotiable. Listen, I'm just saying with Rex in charge, I feel like I trust him and I... Guys, what happened to my camera? <laughs> Okay. 
It's fine. It's fine. I was on the wrong scene. I don't know how that happened. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, as I was saying, I feel like with Rex in charge, I don't, I don't mind carrying the genophage. Because I feel like I trust him to be a good leader. Why are you so opposed to the idea, Delatras? Because my people uplifted the Krogan. We know them best. You mean you used us to fight a war you couldn't win? It wasn't the Salarians, or the Asari, or even the Turians that stopped the Rachni. It was Krogan blood that turned the tide. And after that, you ceased to be useful. The Genophage was the only way to keep your urges in check. I don't like this bitch. Dalatrash, you may not like him, but Rex is right. Insulting him won't change that. I like him! I won't apologize for speaking the truth. We uplifted the Krogan to do one thing. Wage war. It's all they know because it's all we wanted them to know. Your people should have thought the matter through then. Was it really a surprise the Krogan revolted? That's precisely my point, Commander. We made a rash decision. We turned to the Krogan in desperation. It's the same mistake you're about to make today. No good can come from curing the genophage. Can you imagine saying this in front of Rex right now? Our boy, our bestie. No. The Krogan have paid for their mistakes. The genophage has gone on long enough. 1,476 years, if you're keeping track. It was a thousand years of peace, free from these brutes. Enough. Whether or not they deserve a cure is academic. It would take years to formulate one. Actually... My information says otherwise. <coughs> a okay, Solarian right. scientist Shit. Malin grew a conscience. He was on my planet, testing a cure on our females. I remember. His methods were barbaric. But what you didn't know is that other females survived his experiments. So the Dalatress here sent in a team to clean up the whole mess and to take them prisoner. Where did you get this? It, it could be a fabrication. Don't is insult it? me. Those are my people. They're immune to the genophage, and you're going to give them back. Dalatras, is this true? How will curing the genophage benefit my people? I don't care. I need this. How long do you think you'll last alone against the Reapers? Because if you don't help, that's how it'll end up. And I'll be the last friendly Turian you ever see. I fucking What's it gonna be? love him. He's always on our side. The females are being kept at one of our STG bases on Sirkesh. But I warn you, Commander. The consequences of this will be fun. Don't will be nothing you compared to what happens if the Reapers me. win. Let's get the females. You're not setting foot on Sirkesh. This will take time. It happens now. As a Council Spectre, Shepard can oversee the exchange. We're going. Before you have time to off him. I don't trust I you for a this, second. Commander. A bully has few friends when he needs them most. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Says you, the bully. <laughs> All right. Pipe down. <sighs> Well, I feel like if we're going to be working with Rex, or we're going to be doing this for Rex, we need our OG crew. Right? That was way more difficult than, <laughs> than I was anticipating. I need six for that. Far for this, though. So I feel like I want this because I typically do a charge and then a Nova, so that would be power. So that's probably better for what I do right now. Um, get 
him overload. And her singularity is freaking. I use that all the time. Recharge or more damage? What is this one? already almost at an hour. I hope this doesn't take too long. <laughs> oh, shit. That looks pretty. This is the Solarian homeworld we're headed to. They aren't used to seeing Krogan here, so let's keep it simple. We land, get the females, and leave before anyone changes their mind. I still don't trust a word they say. <laughs> when in doubt, scare them. Let diplomacy play out, Rex. You'll get what you want. These females are the best, and probably last hope for my people. What happened we'll bring to- bring them back, Rex. Don't worry. I appreciate that, Liara. I wouldn't want anyone else along for the ride. <coughs> <coughs> I knew this would be good! I suppose I can make room for you too, Gary. <laughs> <laughs> the old Figured crow. you'd gone soft sitting on your throne. Forgot how to hold a gun. <laughs> Commander, I have the Solarian base on sensors. Set her down. Them. <sighs> Commander, Solarian ground control says we don't have clearance to land. Tell them the Dalatras authorized this herself. I knew they'd never keep their word. Let's see them try to stop a Krogan airdrop. <laughs> okay, Rex. Rex. Diplomacy! We have an unauthorized landing. And who authorized you to hold my race hostage? Okay, well, this is not going according to plan. moments ago I'd like to avoid a diplomatic incident as would we but you have something valuable to Rex something worth dying for this matter can be resolved but I must insist he remain under guard <laughs> I can handle this Rex trust me anything goes wrong and all bets are off just trust me I'm Paddock Wicks, and I appreciate your understanding, Commander. With war on everyone's minds, our people are on edge. Careful! Watch the containment shield! I'd hope to never see one of those again. As you can I see, see this base contains sensitive information. What kind of work goes on here? Evolutionary trials, morphological simulations, exogenetic assessments. Nothing is ever simple with Solarians, is it? Science has always been our best defense. The research we do here has kept Sirkesh safe for millennia. Does that include studying lost Krogan? The females were in poor health when we found them on Tachanka. They were brought here to stabilize their condition. This old planet smells wrong. <laughs> I'd like to see them. Of course. I'll need to clear you for the lower levels. Uh... Give me a few moments and meet me near the elevator. What specimens are being arrived? Please don't touch that. Oh. As I said, Commander, don't touch that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like a petulant child. <laughs> Agree with him or not, our orders are clear. Ensure the smooth handover of the Krogan detainees. Who gave the order? Our superior. That's all that matters. But they're gonna cure the genophage. Everything we've done to stop the Krogan will be for nothing. When I want your opinion, I'll promote you. Until then, stay sharp and keep your mouth shut. Hell yeah. Listen to your superiors. 
This is a restricted area. Please stay back. Why are they gonna let me explore if there's nothing for me to explore? Another incursion. Air defenses report unidentified craft skirting our inbound approach vectors. It's like someone's testing our defenses. It appears that way, sir. I don't like it. Not with everything else going on. I was starting to forget what peace sounds like. You'd never know that a war for the whole galaxy is happening right now. The Solarians can't stay out of it forever. Though seeing this, I can't really blame them for trying. This reminds me of the contemporary hotel in Disney World. You know, without the waterfall. But that? Why is there a fire over there? Um. Do you, do you guys know that your, your, your thing is burning down? There was some outbound comm traffic 20 minutes ago from inside the base. And? A burst transmission fully encoded with no identity signature. No signature? That's against protocol. I know. Someone's passing a message. I've got a bad feeling about this. Yeah, what the frick is about to go down? Send confirmation to the Dalatrast that the exchange is proceeding. Yes, sir. And ask her for more warning the next time the Krogan leader shows up unannounced. Yes, sir. I wasn't serious. She'll maroon you on Tachanka with raw meat strapped to your back if you do that. Oh. Then she'll record the Thresher Maws eating you as a warning to anyone else who challenges her. A cyber analyst over in Intel told me the Turians can't hold out much longer. He's hearing the Reapers happen against the wall. The Turians are the biggest fleet in the galaxy. And we're only a few Mass Effect relays away from the whole mess. Yes, yeah, so maybe you should frickin' help us! How's it going, buddy? This is where all you Solarians come from, huh? No wonder you're so soft. Too busy writing poetry about waterfalls. Shepard, I don't like this. I should be the one going in. How about you stay here and we only fight one war at a time? That was just good old-fashioned Krogan hot air. If it had been real, they'd be dead. <laughs> Who tipped you off about the females here? Sorry, Shepard, but they're listening to every word we say. I prefer my Solarian liver served raw. <laughs> <laughs> they are not Besides, amused. You think this is the kind of thing the Shadow Broker would have known about? Too bad I don't know him. Or her. I'm sure the broker was very busy. Was that, um, a little slap in the face to Liara? Not slap in the face. You know what I mean. Like a little, like, Liara, I know it's you. What the fuck? Back on the Normandy, you said Reapers were sighted on Tachanka. Clans Jorgal and Ravenor sighted a few landing parties. The Reapers are up to something. Tuchunka may be a pile of radioactive rubble, but it's our pile. And we'll fight the last Krogan to keep it that way. That's what I always liked about you, Rex. My smoldering good looks? <laughs> there is that. But you've never given up. And that determination's about to pay off. Yeah. Who would have thought back on Vermeer we'd be standing here doing this together? I'm so happy I brought them. What do you know about these females? They weren't fertile, so we used them as decoys to draw off enemies from the ones who were. But Malin's experiments changed that. These damn piejacks stole them right out from under us. That's a pretty brutal way to treat your women, Rex. The females suggested it. We've had to make a lot of tough choices to ensure we don't all die off. What a horrible way to live. It's just one more thing that'll get better when the genophage is cured. If it was their idea, can't be mad. Are the Krogan ready to fight the Reapers? Ever since Sovereign showed up, I figured this day would come. My people have spent too much time selling ourselves out as mercenaries. Now we can get back to doing what Krogan do best. Saving everyone else from giant monsters. Never going to let us forget about the Rachni Wars, are you? The last time I was at the Citadel, I didn't see a Turian statue in your honor. 
<laughs> Just wait till this war is over. It's been good talking to you again, Rex. It'll be even better when we have a few Solarians for lunch. <laughs> You have clearance now to see the females, Commander. I hope we can resolve this matter without reenacting the Krogan rebellions. Why did it look like he was singing? La 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 la. What do you think about handing over the Krogan? I differ from most of my colleagues. Curing the Genophage will bring closure to this issue. In the future, the Krogan may yet play some role we can't even imagine. We should let the evolutionary process decide who lives and dies, not All right, the rest of politics. I like that answer. Thanks for your time. Of course. Proceed into the elevator when you're ready. Proceed to the root. I don't know why that made me want to quote my GPS. But it did. <laughs> now take this elevator down and someone will... Rex is like, wasn't me? What's happening? Sensors have picked up activity on the perimeter. Hurry, Commander. Someone will meet you below. Wait, but what about Rex? Wait, what's going on? Who sent out a signal and who is there? All specimens are accounted for, sir. <laughs> Shepard, excellent timing. Good to have you here. Morden? Eyesight still sharp. Surprise, understandable. Hadn't expected to return to work. You're back with STG. Special consultant. Had to be me. Someone else might have gotten it wrong. Helped female Krogan. Fed information to Clan Erdnot. Encouraged political pressure to free female. You must be Rex's inside source. Yes, can explain later. Security <laughs> warning's not normal. Need to get off world for sake of Krogan. Females had weakened immune systems. Side effect of Malin's cure. These didn't survive. Oh. But what about Malin's research? I thought we saved it. Indeed, data saved, but not complete. Lacks crucial details to reconstruct cure, but still useful for synthesizing from living tissue. Couldn't save them. I'm sure you did everything you could, Morton. Arrived too late. Cannot delay now. One survivor, immune to genophage, can synthesize cure from her tissue. She's still here. Yes, last hope for Krogan. If she dies, genophage cure... Problematic. Please be careful. Krogan's slow to trust. I'm Commander Shepard, Alliance Navy. Are you here to kill me? Goddess, what she's been through. Erdnot Rex and I are here to take you home. Why? What am I to you? Have the Solarians been mistreating you? Those are my sisters you saw back there. They died in a lot of pain. Did the best we could. And now I know I'm the only one left. That makes me dangerous to a lot of people. What about you, Commander Shepard? Why are you here? You're the future of the Krogan race. I'm fighting for that. This music is so pretty! Then I hope you brought an army. Alert. Unidentified vessels have breached the perimeter. Give me an update. Outbound communications have been severed. We're cut off. Secure all data to off-site location. Oh, I bet that signal that was sent out was from Morden to Rex. We have multiple ships inbound. Not the sent to the people attacking. Shepard, it's Rex. Shepard's troops are attacking the base. Get the females out of there now. Only one survived, Rex. It might be safer down here. What? So the Solarians can kill her like the others? No deal. If you still want this alliance, get her out of there. Rex, don't be like that. I get Release your piss, but don't be mean We're to leaving. me. I can't. 
Protocol states during lockdown, no specimens. <laughs> okay, Morden. Now, please release Krogan. <laughs> Need to monitor pod as it clears quarantine procedures. Meet us at next checkpoint, Shepard. Likely Cerberus opposes Genef HQ. You'll see Tachanka again, I promise. Get your elevator, Shepard. Oh god. What gun do I have on right now? Appears to be an aerosol. Something's wrong with the elevator. It's not responding. Of course. There. Try it now, Commander. Ooh. Oh, crap. Well. Get back! <laughs> Guess right? we're not going that Is way. Is there another way out of here? This On one? the side of the lab. An emergency exit. I can open it from here. Shepard, Cerberus Force is trying to locate female. Quarantine checkpoint under attack. Hurry! Shepard, it's Rex. I took the shuttle. Do whatever it takes to get the female up to the landing pad. I'll try to make life miserable for Cerberus. Taking enemy fire from the Pentec Caltech 4. Direct reinforcements without a hit and confirmed. Oh, oh god. Oh, oh. Shortcut to rip. Sure, there will be more. Oh, God. Oh, God. I don't like where this is headed. I don't like where this is headed at all. Don't let them take cover in the lab. They might be candidates for expanding Solarian influence with full deniability. They've never had to fight a yacht face to face. Oh, you know what I can actually probably do? This one, for once! Oh my god, this music has paper. Oh. Female is going to last long against this sort of biopower. Shepard, Cerberus in vicinity, hurry! We're on our way. Integrity. Do more than challenge them. See you on the next level. Shepard, meet us at next checkpoint. Server is likely to target. Oh, you mean like that? 
Great. Hurry, next checkpoint. together again. I know it was. Is there an easier way around? You could say that. Sticky bombs? I want those. I not have one of those. <laughs> same, Gareth, same. Go, Commander. I'll cover you. Orion squad, your orders are to hold position and block access to next checkpoint. Looks like Cerber has got some upgrade. Taking them head on may not be the best idea. Maybe try to flank them instead. Yeah, but okay. We have to take out those turrets! Holy fuck! Holy fuck! Take care of it, guys. Don't worry. That. 
Singularity, like ASAP, please. Thank you. Oh god, that was the worst, worst timing for that ever. Still waiting. Rex can't keep his hands off a fertile female. He'll be there. I'll see you up top. We found the Krogan. Don't touch my Krogan. Uh -huh. Oh god, I'm stuck. Oh god, I'm stuck. Oh god. Dude, this build is nasty. That was the last one. Let's get the hell out of here. Shepard, get your ass up here. I can't fly around forever. The female's on the way up to the landing area. 
Imagine being like moved around like a freaking shipping container. what I wanted to fight right now. Cool. This is great. This is fine. This is horrible as possible. Let's do that. Cerberus never did play fair. Oh my god, I'm stuck. Oh god. Oh, okay. I was like, I'm gonna, and then. And I couldn't. So that didn't really work the way it was gonna in my head. That stupid thing was in the way. <laughs> Alright, let's try this. Fair. Oh. I don't want that. I don't like this enough. Bad. I. Ooh. Oh god. Get down, Shepard! The fuck? Um. 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 Please just get for the love of god. Oh, there's more people. Good, that's just wonderful. my sweater and turning up or down. <laughs> At one point in the fight it was like blasting out my eardrums and then it caught again and then it turned way down so I could hardly hear anything. <laughs> he just likes to jump out of everything. You had me worried there for a minute. Let's make this quick! <laughs> Let's get you out of there. She's like, I'm an independent woman! <laughs> okay. 
okay. I can handle myself, Rex. Uh, Women. <laughs> I like her outfit. Oh, she's pissed. Okay, Cerberus here. What do you want? Shatter, you broke me a treaty between the Krogan and the Turians. If I get Krogan boots on Palavin, the Turians promise me their support. And how does Cerberus get involved? I don't know. The elusive man is up to something. Then keep them at bay. I can't overstate what a victory this treaty would be for the Alliance. We'll need all the help we can get. How's the Prothean device coming? Alliance R&D has officially begun construction. The team has dubbed it Project Crucible. We're throwing everybody who knows how to hold a hammer at it. This is going to be the most ambitious undertaking in human history. Will we get it done? I'm not saying it won't be a challenge, but our researchers tell me the designs are elegant, massive in scope, but strangely simple as well. We can do this, Shepard. You can do this. Never doubt that. No, sir. Good, hack it out. That's what the weapon is looking like? Is that the weapon? Guys, I dazed out. You have the lie. female <laughs> A cure for the rest of your people can come later. That wasn't the deal. But Palavin needs your reinforcements now. We can't delay. Unless every Krogan gets the cure, there's no alliance. Well, this is problematic. Morden, how long will it take to finish a cure? Need to synthesize base antigen from female. Also requires healthy male Krogan tissue. We'll need a sample. You're looking at it. Acceptable. We'll need you to remain aboard Normandy for a procedure. Rex is like, I'll give you <laughs> my sample. Better. <laughs> Formulating a cure that works for every Krogan sounds like a tall order, Morden. <laughs> Can you do it? Of course. Similar to Genophage Modification Project. Working against own alterations this time. Not as simple as garbage DNA blocking attachment sites. We'll need to counteract shutdown of redundant nervous system, adjust our transmitter levels. Got it. We'll create cure, Shepard. Don't need to worry. Then get started, Morton, and make it quick. Always do. We'll be in medbay if you'd like to speak more. Eve requires tests. He's not Eve? A Female's real name unknown. Normandy, a human vessel. Human mythology seemed appropriate under circumstances. Suggest so speaking with her. New perspective. Surprising in Krogan. Will you no, two get along there? There's a small matter concerning a ship we've lost contact with. What happened? I'd rather discuss it... in private. Oh my god. Turian problems can't even come close to what I've got. <sighs> this is gonna be a long what is it? process. Some of my men went missing. The rest of it we can discuss... somewhere else. Oh my god. I'll find you both in the war room. Just be ready to talk. Oh, this is gonna be impossible. I'm so gonna fuck this up somehow. Oh, man. Okay, the Terminus fleet got an update. The Eclipse Corporation, oh wait.
I haven't read any of this. <laughs> the Terminus Fleet is an assortment of mercenary vessels and pirate ships bound together by little more than common geography and a fear of the Reapers. Despite this volatile mix, the fleet seems to be functioning as one under the leadership of criminal warlord Arya Talok. The Blood Pact's mercenaries have been compared to floods, wildfires, and other calamities. It recruits Krogan and Vorcha, preferably those with no regard for collateral damage. On the rare occasion when brute force is insufficient, the Blood Pact is willing to deploy weapons of mass destruction, normally banned in Citadel space. Oh, good. The Eclipse Corporation specializes in smart security solutions, developing tactics around surgical strikes, sabotage, and electronic warfare. These mercenaries are supported by a sizable army of combat mechs and rely heavily on tech for support in combat. Spectres are, left hand, are the left hand of the Citadel, enforcing laws and stopping crimes with galactic repercussions. While Spectres usually work alone, the Reaper threat gave cause for these extraordinary agents to assemble in an elite unit capable of operating in enemy territory without backup. Spectre John Dumbau, while not their official leader, is the group's spokesperson. He has passed on important intelligence gathered by the unit to hack it in the Fifth Fleet. The Hanar have sent their warships to engage, engage the Reaper... <laughs> Let me try that again. Engage the Reapers to repay Commander Shepard for saving their homeworld. Though their navy is relatively small, the Hanar have also provided the services of their best drill combat specialists. <laughs> their accomplished spies, saboteurs, and assassins trained in an extremely young age. While the Hanar are normally loath to send trusted allies into open warfare, these are desperate times. A metagel formulated especially for the Hanar has been distributed to Hanar civilians and fleet captains. A pair of entrepreneurs was persuaded to switch from creating financial programs to advanced weapon targeting VIs and to sell them to the Alliance just above cost. Kasumi is wanted in over a dozen systems for sabotage, hacking, theft, and a laundry list of other crimes. The Alliance is willing to overlook Goto's indiscretions in exchange for her help with the Crucible. In addition to her expertise with electronic security systems, Goto can acquire important technology thought lost or stuck deep in enemy territory. No one dares ask how she acquires these items. Major Karahe. Kirahe. I'll never say that right. It's fine. Made his mark leading the Salarian Special Task Group that helped Commander Shepard stop Saren in Vermeer. Lauded by his superiors for his decisive leadership under fire, Kirahe was promoted to decorated with the prestigious Star of Sirkesh. The Major continues to join missions with his men, believing that nothing substitutes for experience and that the best tactical strategies are planned on the battlefield. Wait, what are we at? We're getting there. We're getting there. Slowly but surely. All right, guys, I'm going to stop there. So I am going to apologize for like, <laughs> what the fuck? It was my own fault this time. Okay, so I said this in the video, but I have a feeling I'm going to cut all this out. So I'm going to say it again, just in case it gets cut. Um, and if you're hearing this for the first time, awesome. If you're hearing for this for the second time, I apologize. Fast forward. Um, but when I was exploring the Citadel, I finished the Citadel missions with the, like, the Blue Suns and the whatever, whatever. Um, and then I was like, oh, I have to go to the Bryson's lab, or, or I think that's his name. So I went to the Bryson's lab. It's a whole huge cutscene, and then there's like a whole indoctrinated thing that I'm not going to get into. But anyways, I saw what happens to Dr. Bryson, and, um, and then I was like, shit. I don't think this is really what I thought I was getting into at this moment. Um, so I just, I looked it up to see if it was like a side mission, a main mission or whatever. And I saw that it was a DLC. I have not seen any spoilers. I didn't read anything. I just looked up what type of a mission type it was. Um, and it just seemed like big and important and not really what I wanted to do at that moment. So I reloaded a safe. I had to replay like a little bit from um, before then, I think I had to like go talk to one person again. So there's like a little bit of a replay for the save. Uh, then obviously I went on the ship and I traveled and then there's the part without my camera. Obviously that footage will be there, but my camera will not have been on because I somehow, I don't even know, clicked into the wrong scene. Some I don't even know what I did. I don't even know what I did. I clicked into the wrong scene somehow. Um, but okay, it got figured out. It got figured out. So 
I, I, I did accidentally start one of the DLCs that I was like, oh shit, I don't think this is the right time to do this. So I reloaded the save. So according to the save, that has not happened yet. Um, when I actually do decide that it's time to play that, I will tell you where I left off. I didn't get super far in, but there was like a cutscene that I couldn't stop. So I had to like finish that whole cutscene. Um, so if you're familiar with the DLC, I stopped after that main cutscene. Um, but like I said, I, I like to be very transparent about things. So just so there's no confusion, just so we're all on the same page. I did do that. <laughs> I did reload the save. Um, and I will point out the parts that I had not seen yet. Or the parts that I have seen when I actually do that mission. It just did not feel right at this moment. I think there will probably be a better fitting space in the story to do that. Um, so yeah. <laughs> that was a little chaotic, but we figured it out. I will talk to everybody on the ship again at the start of next video. And then I think next video I'm going to do a bunch of just exploration in the universe. Scanning, trying to find some of those things that I need for um, some of the quests that I picked up in the Citadel. I don't know if I'll be able to do everything um, at this point, but I think that kind of makes sense right now. And then depending on timing after that, I will continue on with main missions from there but usually when I take time to talk to everybody on the ship that's about half a video so then I don't really have enough time for a full like play I don't know well whatever that's my game plan at this point <laughs> I'm really glad Morden is back I'm really glad Rex is back this is going to be a long ass journey though this is going to be stressful this is going to be stressful but I'm really happy that we're getting our crew. Um, it's really nice. It's really nice. And I am curious to see what happens with this whole Genophage storyline. Although I'm stressed already. I'm already feeling it. But uh, I just love this game, you guys. <laughs> I love this game. I think like at this moment, I still, I know we're still very early on and there hasn't been any like emotional damage done yet. But at this moment, I'm just like so much more into this game. Like in terms of, being addicted and I don't know if it's because I I now like know all the people so I'm just like getting all of my friends back and reacquainting myself with all of my friends or if it's because it's like the culmination of the story and that part is addicting because we're like so close to figuring out what's gonna happen or if it's just like the slight little updates and tweaks that have been that were made between two and three I'm not sure but I'm just like I love it so much. I love it so much. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. Double check that you're subscribed. Hit that bell button when you do. That way you know when I post future videos. And as always, I really appreciate you watching and I hope you have an amazing day.